Hi, I'm Kat from Nutrient Wonder Hub. Today for Story and a Craft, we're going to talk about the book, Be Yourself. Afterwards, we're gonna be creating a beehive craft and cute little bees. So today we're gonna to be talking about Be Yourself. This book is by Kathy Sather and pictures by David Mark. Uh, this book is really a lovely book all about being yourself. So the story is all about a little bumblebee who wants to try being other things. So he tries to be a bird and other animals. Um, he's here. He tries to be a fish. He just really wants to see what it's like being other things. At the end of the story, he finds out the best thing to be is to be yourself. So it's a really lovely story that uh, really encourages everyone to try new things, but ultimately just being happy, being yourself. So we're gonna be creating a little craft coming up around this, this lovely book, and it's really gonna be a whole lot of fun. Hey again, so we are going to be uh, doing the bumblebee craft and the beehive, uh, kind of all together on one picture. So for this craft, you're going to need some bubble wrap. Um, you can often get this just from uh, maybe some of your parents' many Amazon uh, packages they've received if they do. If not, uh, you can just check around your house. You may have some Amazon, or some uh, bubble wrap paper, uh, a white piece of paper, uh, some scissors, some black paint, yellow paint, some uh, napkins just to dry off your brushes, and also um, a large brush and a smaller brush for some finer details. So that's kind of what I have for my materials and we're just gonna jump right in. This craft can be a little bit messy, so just um, kind of find a space that it's okay that you make a bit of a mess. <clears throat> so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to be kind of cutting out um, kind of an oval shape for our beehive. So I'm gonna take my scissors. This is my bubble wrap. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go in and just, I don't want it to be any bigger than the page. I actually want it to take up about two thirds of the page. I wanna have a little bit of room for some bumblebees. You can actually see the craft over in the corner here. We've got our nice um, beehive there with some cute little bumblebees flying around. So I wanna have enough room for those guys to fly. So I'm gonna cut a beehive. Now it doesn't have to be a perfect oval or a perfect shape. Um, as long as it's kind of a roughly an oval shape. If it's a little lopsided, that's totally fine. Okay, so now I know it's so tempting just to sit there and pop all of your bubble wrap. Um, that's probably what I'll be doing later with that extra piece. But for this one here, I'm going to be painting on it. So I've got my um, nice bubble wrap here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my paper to the side and I'm actually going to paint on my bubble wrap. So we're gonna do a little bit of stamping with this. So I'm gonna take my big brush. Now it's quite wet right now. I don't think I want it to be too, too wet. Um, otherwise my stamp might spread a little bit too much. So I'm gonna take my brush and just kind of dab it on my paper towel just a little bit. There we go. Get rid of some of the extra water. Now for the color of your beehive, you can really make it, you can make it brown. Um, we've kind of made it kind of yellow with a little bit of black into it. Um, you can really make a beehive whatever color you like. But for mine, I'm gonna take just a nice scoop of yellow on my brush, and I am just going to paint my bubble wrap. You wanna kinda paint all of it, get right to those edges. You wanna have that shape, so you might get a little bit of paint on your hands, but that's okay. You'll wash them after. There we go. We want to have enough so that all those little bubbles have a bit of paint on them. All right, almost done. There we go. So I've kind of put lots of yellow paint all into my, all over my bubble wrap. Now he's just kind of a flat yellow right now. I want to add a little bit of the black on here. So I'm just going to take my dirty brush and just going to dip it just just the, the tip of my brush into just a little bit of black. I don't want too much because too much black really just, uh, it'll take over, so just a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of streak a little bit of black on there. Give it a little bit of a dimension kind of in our, our beehive. 
again, you could make it into whatever. If you don't have yellow and black and you only have brown, make it a brown beehive. If you don't have any of those colors, you only have blue, make it a blue beehive. It's your beehive, you can make it whatever color you want. Um, all right, so got lots of paint on there. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab my white paper again. And then I'm going to take my bubble wrap and I'm gonna lay it down with the wet side down. I'm gonna find it roughly in the center. There we go. And just gently kind of tap it down, make sure you got all the edges touching the paper. You don't have to press too hard. You don't wanna pop the bubbles. Okay, and when you're ready, just kind of you paint off your hands and then you can kind of pull it back. And you've got this lovely beehive pattern on here. So um, the little circles kind of make it look like there are little honeycombs all over the page. The shape is kind of a beehive shape. But now we need to figure out who is living in the beehive. So that's where we get to do our little bees. So for the bees, I'm actually gonna take my bubble wrap. I'm just gonna set it to the side. I'm done with him now. Um, let them dry and then pop those bubbles later. So for the bees, bees are really cute. They have kind of a bit of an oval shape as well, much smaller than our beehive. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna use uh, fingerprints to make our bees. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush. Now again, like I said, this craft is a little bit messy. Let's paint a little bit of yellow on my thumb. There we go. So I just did one thumbprint up in the corner. Again, you can put as many bees on there. I think I kind of like that big bee up there. He's kind of like the bee from our story where he just eventually is happy to be himself. That's him up in the corner there that I just made. I think I'm gonna make a smaller bee in here and I'm gonna use my, uh, kind of my pointer finger here. There we go, a little smaller of a bee. And then I'm gonna do one more time. So I got a lot of paint on my finger. And then I'm gonna do one little baby bee in the corner. I'm gonna use my pinky. I'm just gonna paint that there. There he is. Okay, well they don't look too, too much like bees right now. We actually need to give them a little bit more definition. So um, there's a few things you can do. I'm gonna take my big brush. I'm gonna put it back in the water. So I'm done with him now. I'm gonna take my napkin and just wipe off fingers. I'm done with my finger painting. Um, and I'm gonna grab out my little baby brush here. <clears throat> now this guy is great because he's got a nice pointy um, bristles and uh, he'll be really great for that finer detail. Now for bees, they have, um, whenever we're painting them just for fun, they've generally got nice, lovely black stripes on them. So I'm just gonna take a bit of black on my little brush here. And I'm gonna give this my uh, be yourself be here. He's my top guy there. He's got three stripes. So I'm gonna give this one three stripes. So one, two, three. He's got three stripes on there. I'm gonna take a little more black paint. There we go. <clears throat> um, the other bees, I'm just gonna give them, I'm gonna give this slightly bigger one here. I'm gonna give him two stripes. And this little guy up here is gonna get one, and little baby, the baby bee got one, and this little one here is just gonna get one stripe. Now, obviously bees need to fly, so we are going to give them some wings. So these little guys, they have wings up on their backs. So I'm just gonna do two little bumps. There's two wings. This guy's kind of flying up in this direction. There's two there. This one's gonna be flying here. Two little wings on his back. And two little wings. There we go. So they have wings, they can fly, but at the moment they cannot see. So I need to give them some eyes. So I'm just gonna do one little eye on this guy. Just right, right there. Now, a little trick that I'm using right now, um, sometimes even though this brush is really great for fine details, sometimes it doesn't make perfect little dabs. So I'm actually just using the back of my paintbrush, dipping that in the paint, and just doing a little dot for their eyes. You get a nice little round dot. So those are our little bumblebees. Um, I'm going to do a couple little legs on them as well. 
and of course their little stinger. Um, so <clears throat> for this guy, now bees have six legs, but you know what? I think on this guy I might only be able to see four of them. On this guy I can only see three. Couple legs on him. They are looking adorable. Now, little stingers, just a little triangle on the back. If you don't want to put the stinger on, you don't have to. All right. So, this is my Be Yourself painting here. And there's our little Be Yourself Bee. I hope you had a really good time painting along. And uh, hopefully, if you ever create one of these and you want to add it in the comments, we'd love to see your own artwork. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for Story in a Craft. This book, Be Yourself, can be found at Nutri Wonder Hub's gift shop. For future programs, feel free to follow us here or at wonderhub.ca. Thanks, thanks for tuning in.